Hello, this is me, G. Bailey, and welcome back to Box Time! I'm about to play Rhapsody, a musical adventure against Gao herself. Okay, first thing we want to do is use Thunder Punch to attack Gao. I want to take her out as quickly as possible. I brought Duke into the party to partake in some of the experience there, and then let's just have the two mages use mass damage to take out the beasts if we can. If I don't kill them, they'll be really, really low on HP, and we can finish them off in the next round, then. Ugh, that wasn't very good damage. Well, we got one of them. Whoa, whoa. Okay, whew. That, that could have been bad if they actually hit her, but, uh, no, nope, no, nope, we're all, we're all good now. Use Miracle Horn to get some more appreciation points there, and we're good. Yeah, those fists don't work on water, unless you've got power! Well, it is the breakfast of champions. Maybe she was just really tired after swimming all the way here. Are we actually at sea? Or are we still docked back at Blue Cat there? I didn't think we actually disembarked. But... Well, whatever works. But alright, we're done with our business there. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we do want to give her the ring that we picked up earlier. So, yeah, that's all he has to say there for now. But alright, so yeah, let's, uh... Well, before going back to talk to Karen at Blue Cat, I want to do something else here. If you've already gotten the water stone, yeah, there's a, what is it, a doll waiting for you in your mailbox for some reason. Seems rather suspicious, though. Hello? Hey, Buckethead! I don't know. Oh, by the way, in order to get this puppet to show up in your mailbox, you also have to be signed up for the Prince's Fan Club back at Mother Green. How's it going? He looks trustworthy. To become more party members. Night Spawn. By the way, if you haven't recruited Night Spawn in Chapter 5 here, you won't be able to get him later. If you go to Chapter 6 or beyond, yeah, you won't be able to recruit him. So you want to do this now after collecting the Water Stone. And he is a really, really good party member. He's a good physical attacker, he's got mass damage spells, he can crowd control, he gets really, really good speed. Unfortunately, he starts out at a pretty low level, but that's okay. He will catch up really, really quickly there. So yeah, I definitely want to bring him out to replace Duke there, and then... Well, yeah, we got to talk to Karen there. Or, well, a bunch of people around here have new stuff to say. Oh, really? So yeah, you gotta talk to this guy to get the pirates to start getting ready to go to Caro Caro. Oh, really? Huh. So, yeah, in order to do that, you have to get out of Blue Cat Underground, talk to that guy, then go back to the pirates, and then something else happens. So, yeah, unfortunately, we will have to walk all the way back, but it's not that far. Uh. Oh, yeah, so we did. Could have warned me about the painting. Well, hasn't she moved on yet? Oh, uh, thanks? Not really good advice. I mean, isn't that kind of like saying... Oh yeah, by the way, uh, don't die! Uh, oh, okay. Well, uh, maybe that explains why pirates are afraid of you. 
Well, good luck with that. Oh, really? Hmm, I wonder what that's about. I don't know. I mean, I could guess based on what I know about the plot, but I don't think they ever really say that that is something of significance. Hmm. Oh, she must have come here after we went to the Tower of Wisdom, huh? Or, like, I guess she could have been here before, but whatever. Nine Tails, huh? Um. Well, there is... We can't go to White Snow yet. Or Oasis, for now. But, yeah, a whole bunch of the NPCs around here will tell you about various other towns that you could go to that we haven't visited yet. Man, everyone's got problems in this world, huh? Well, except Caro Caro, I guess. Oh, well, you could have just asked. Well, I guess he did eventually. He found out or whatever, but... Okay, so now I want to get back to finding the pirates. Or going back to the pirates to take us to Caro Caro. So, and there's a couple of new enemies that I want to try and find underground Blue Cat. So, let's take a look around and see if we can find them. They're not super rare or anything, though, so it shouldn't take too long. Alright, there we go. Let's see. In the back, we got Enkiro, or Enkolo, or however they translate it from one RPG to another. But yeah, they can cast Meteor on your party, so they are pretty dangerous. I want to use the... Uh, sugar candy to weaken all of them and I want uh, Night Spawn to make the kills on um, as many enemies as possible because his side quest requires him to make the finishing blow on a hundred enemies exactly 100 so I would imagine in the PS1 version that was more so based on reaching skill level 3 at 100 kills if I recall correctly But regardless, it's the same idea. So, yeah, to soften up the enemies, maybe use some crowd control so they can't kill us, and then have Night Spawn kill the enemies there. So you definitely want to keep track of your kill count. And you'll want to save, like, right before he gets his 100th kill. So, just a fair warning there, viewers. Let's just put it that way. And I'm just having my other party members do useless things without killing the enemies because we don't really have like a defend command or something to waste time. So, okay, there's only one more enemy I want to find around here and well, hopefully I can find it quickly. If not, I'll just skip to when I do. Okay, there's the new one. Let's see. Venom Toads. Those guys can, well, poison you. So, definitely uh, watch out for that, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be able to kill them, or at least one of them, with a few physical attacks, depending on crits or not. But all right, got the first one there. And let's see. I don't think I need Cornette to join in on the attacking. We'll just do this again. We're about getting to the point where Bloodhorn is not going to be that extraordinary. The Horn Command is still obscenely powerful in the PS1 version. But, yeah, Bloodhorn, not so good here. So, yeah, once you talk to the guy at the bar, you go back through here, talk to the guard there, and they'll take us to Caro Caro. I don't want to do this one or go through this area quite yet. But I just wanted to unlock the location there so I can just go there whenever I'm ready. So the only other lead that we've got on uh, one of the elemental stones is Red Hot. So we want to go over there. Hmm. Oh. 
Well, it's not really useful in daily life, but okay. But yeah, if you recall, when we were talking to... Uh, what is it, Polanski, he wrote a letter for us so they would let us pass through the bridge here. Hmm, 34 and 49. Remember those numbers for later, viewers. But unfortunately, the bridge to White Snow is not up, or, yeah, the bridge isn't down, so. Well, thank you. What happens if I say no this time? No, no, and you must be thinking of someone else. Oh, okay, uh, thanks, I guess. Oh, yeah, the bridge is out there too. Kind of hard to tell from this angle, but uh, yeah, when that drawbridge is down, you could go to Oasis, but we can't get there right now. So yeah, I just want to save just in case before continuing through the suspension bridge area. Well, well, holy cow, or er, dragon. For boss time against the dragoness and a couple of firebirds. Okay, the first thing we want to do is use cake on all of these guys. That'll soften up the enemies enough to allow night spawn to kill them with meteor. And meanwhile, I'll have everyone else just use single targeting spells on the Dragonus. Yeah, the Dragonus can use, what is that, Wind Breath there. Whoa, getting a little close there. Maybe I should have used Happy Horn. But I really do want to take out the Firebirds. They are very fast at this point in the game. Okay, hopefully I can get in some healing before I get attacked again. Uh, by the way, the Firebirds, they could use Fire Breeze or Blaze on your party. So that's also something to watch out for. Especially if you encounter them as random enemies. You might want to have Cornet use Happy Horn there. But here, no, nah, just take them out with Cake and that'll be good. Here, the Cake is not alive. All right. Got her. Ha ha. Oh, you're welcome. I don't even know how to pronounce that, but we'll go with Guanji. All right. Let's see how those boss fights would have gone in the PS1 version of the game then. Okay, we're back in the PS1 version of the game. Let's just take a look at the setup here. Let's see, so yeah, cat's paws all the way around, except for Shart, who I've got with the Holy Charm for dealing pretty good damage there. Let's see, I would like Shart to get as many of the kills as possible here. We'll see how that goes with, against Gao then. And by the way, yes, Gao is indeed female. I think it's kind of a running gag in the game that everyone keeps on mistaking her for being male or something, but uh, I think Gao has a tail there too. But alright, let's see what we can do. Let's uh, buff up there, and yeah, why don't we just uh, stop there. By the way, with Gao, you see, she's got only like a sixth of her total HP something like that there probably from swimming all the way back here but i like that little attention to detail kind of reminds me of uh paper mario yeah one instance but all right let's see let's get over here and mm, i can't seem to hit all of them not enough range oh well we'll be fine Okay, and then... Well, I can't really have Kid do a whole lot there, huh? Okay, well, I'll have him go after one of those wolves eventually. Let's see, if I go there, should be able to hit all of them with Holy. There we go. I don't know if Gal starts out with less than 100% HP in the DS version, because we can't see her stats there. But I like to think she does. I mean, we did killer in one round. 
compared to the first time when she was invincible. Okay, one good attack there. And we're good. Ooh, learned heal all. That's an AoE heal in this version of the game. It doesn't necessarily heal everyone, I don't think. But yeah, that'll be really helpful for us. Oh, yeah, thanks a lot. Okay, let's get out of here. I am not going to do the whole... What is it? Uh, what is it? Sequence getting... Caro Caro unlocked right now. I'll just do that off screen eventually. But I do want to go to... Orange Village there. Uh, to recruit... Well, I don't think he's called Night Spawn in this version of the game. If I recall correctly, I'll have to double check that out. Now, I won't actually use him in this version of the game because... Oh, okay, I guess he is Night Spawn then. But, uh... Oh, yeah, I, no, no, we're good. But yeah, unfortunately, because everyone joins the party at level 1, it's not really worthwhile to level him up. Unless you're, like, gonna do everything in the game. But that would require quite a bit of grinding in the PS1 version of the game. Okay, so we're all healed up. Yeah, let me take a look there with... Oh yeah, I, uh, yeah, got uh, Bone Man to join the party with Cornette there a little bit earlier. Let's see, okay, so... Yeah, he's called Dark Knight here for some reason instead of Night Spawn, but, uh... Well, whatever works. Maybe that was a typo or programming error or something. How are we doing on money? Hmm. Let me see if I can sell the monster. Oh, wait, no, this guy isn't the one who does that. It's the guy back at, uh... What is it? Mother Green there that has the monster that I'm, or well, can pay me money for that. I'll do that off screen later. Let's just get going to what I really want to show you guys here. And, okay, so I don't think I, yeah, I don't even need to talk to those guys. We could just go. And, okay, yeah, I think we're set and ready to go. I don't know why they didn't have that sound effect in the DS version of the game, but okay. Alright, so with this fight, let's go as far forward as we can and have our cake and eat it too, or however the expression goes. I'm not sure why that damages the enemy so quickly, but well, there it is. But can we find any clues about the location of the Firestone at Red Hot? Find out next time on Let's Play Rhapsody, a musical adventure. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!